Peace, peace, peace. Peace to the gods and earth, peace to the seeds. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the impeccable, the impeccable chefs in the hood with your man, Chef R.O.D. We, we um, don't have too many guests. You know, it's, it's either me, uh, the god uh, King Costa Baker Man, or we got Trey from Trey Cottles here. Today we got a special guest, and we're going to let her walk in and introduce herself. bring you guys some awesome traditional Trinidadian street food. We're gonna bring doubles to the plate. Yes, we have Bara and Chana. All right, so we have the ingredients for the Bara. We have flour, um, we have curry powder and cumin, salt and black pepper here, and we have yeast and sugar and a little warm water. I'm just gonna add these ingredients in. You wanna add in first your curry and cumin, and I added a little bit of turmeric in there, salt and black pepper, and of course your yeast and the sugar. And that just helps to bring your bar to a rice. So we're just gonna add, we're gonna mix this up first. And mix it in. And then you add your water. And you wanna mix this up so it's gonna be a little sticky. So I've got enough water in here and you know your dough is nice and sticky. And you just wanna mix it in real good. So I'm using one hand, but usually you get both hands in there and dig in. want to make sure that you mix the ingredients well so it's at the consistency that it should be it's nice and sticky and then you just let this sit and um, and rise for about an hour okay I forgot to mention to you guys that you want to keep your bara dough in a warm place in the kitchen, um, you know, so that the yeast can do its thing so it can rise, okay? All right, so we're going to get started on the chickpeas. And with the chickpeas, you want to start off getting the onion ready. I already have, um, I already have the curry powder, the salt, um, the masala, the cumin, and I have a little bit of scotch bonnet sauce and green seasoning sauce. So we've got a little bit of onion we're going to chop up, not too much. Um, I like to cut the onion fine so that it kind of melts in the uh, chana. I don't like the piece of onion in the chana, but I like the onion flavor, so we're gonna keep up with that. I think this should be enough. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get some garlic ready. I like to peel the garlic, just break it, peel off the skin off the garlic and then you get the chop in the garlic. One thing about um, doubles that I remember, one of my earliest memories is when I was going to school um, in Shibuana, going to 
Chavonis Montrose headed out to class early in the morning. And I would stop and get me a double in the morning. It was very inexpensive. Doubles are very inexpensive. Um, and it's really good as a breakfast food. It's a vegetarian food. It's really good as a breakfast food. And it is it's good as a lunch and it's good as a dinner. So um, my daughter, when she went to Trinidad for the first time, she wanted doubles breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we used to call her Miss Double. So it's a really good food, it's vegetarian, and you know, it's filling. So we're gonna chop up this garlic, make sure the garlic is nice and fine. I like to make sure the garlic is fine. Some people like big pieces of garlic. I love garlic, so I don't care if it's big or small, but I like to make it small especially for, um, for something like doubles. All right, so you're gonna add a little bit of, we're just gonna add some oil to the pot, enough to fry your garlic and your onion. Um, before you put that in there, we're just gonna turn this on, before you put that in there, we're going to add some water to your curry powder because it works as a thickener. So we're just going to add some water to the curry. Mix it up. Make sure it's not lumpy. We're going to add, the oil is ready. We're going to add the onion and the garlic. Mix that up. Add your curry, curry mixed with water. Add that curry. And just let that cook. It's on a medium to high heat. Our chickpeas. Now this is not the chickpeas that you soak. This is the canned chickpeas, but you can definitely use the soaked chickpeas. You just have to soak them overnight and make sure that it's nice and soft when you get ready. I like to blanch them sometimes. Um, blanch them and have them soak in the blanched water. That would soften your chickpeas as well. So you add your chickpeas and then you add some water. I'm gonna add this water. And now, I'm gonna add the masala and the cumin. Mix that in. And your salt and black pepper. All right. And let that bubble. Let it cook for a little bit. <laughs> All right, so your chickpeas the chickpeas is nice and thick it's a good consistency i'm just gonna add the scotch bonnet um garlic paste and the green seasoning to it so that it can finish cook about another 15 minutes maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna get started on on the Battersea see it's nice and ready. It doubled in size. You're gonna put oil on your hands to work it. I'm gonna use a little olive oil on my hands to work with it. And then I'm gonna just pinch off little pieces. And put them in here. Get ready to flatten them out. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our oil 
in the pot, I'm using corn oil. You want to use a oil that has a high smoke point so it doesn't burn for frying. And about a cup of oil. This is probably a little bit more than a cup. Just to get started. All right, and then we're gonna flatten out the barras. Of course, I'm using oil on my hand. I'm using olive oil on my hand to work with it. I'm just gonna flatten it out. if it's not even I have some that are bigger and some that are smaller but you know that's just how it's gonna go and flatten it out and you just let it sit because you have to get these ready before you put anything in that oil because when it starts it's fire it's got to keep going Right. So when you, after you fry a barra, you're gonna put it in the paper. This paper is um, what's traditionally used to soak up the oil and to keep the barra nice and soft. All right. So I'm gonna work again with some oil on my fingers and get it ready for this oil. So we have some flattened out already. I'm gonna drop that down in there, turn it up. <laughs> but it's very fast. You flip it. Flip it again. And that is it. Done. Just a little bit closer. Make cucumber sauce. Um, it depends on your flavor, whatever you like. Um, you can use tamarind sauce, which is sweeter. We're gonna do cucumber sauce, which is a little salty and sour. We're using cucumbers to, um, and we're gonna grate them. And it's not the fine setting. So you see, you have the fine one, and then you have the bigger setting. That's the one we're gonna use to grate the cucumbers. gonna grate we're gonna use this whole cucumber you wash this really good um, you try to fire organic as much as possible because you don't want pesticides in your food so if you can't find organic you're gonna wash it really well maybe have it soak in in some vinegar and water and then wash it with really good um, detergent like Dr. Bonner's the unscented one is best. All right, so we get a lime and we're gonna squeeze our lime into the cucumber. And we're gonna add, the lime is really good. It adds a very nice acidic flavor to um, the cucumber sauce. It brings out the flavors that we're gonna add. We have um, cilantro, shadow benny we have basil just a little bit of basil and we have parsley in there a little bit of lime zest just a pinch a little bit more than a pinch and 
and we have my mother's secret ingredient which is just really garlic sauce which is the best you can eat it with everything it's so good but it's like a minced garlic with olive oil and you add a little bit of um, vinegar and my salt we're gonna mix that up mix that in really good that adds a nice crunch and freshness to the um, chickpeas and the bara or the double all right so we are done let's get our bara perfect bara nice and soft and this paper helped to absorb all of the oil, most of the oil from it. This paper is really, really good to use. Um, you can find this at um, a farmer's market, um, the Chinese Oriental Market. They have this. So if you need the paper to make it work, paper towel works as well. Um, so this is how you build. You build the double sandwich. You put in your china inside. And we have our cucumber sauce that's gonna go on top. A nice drizzle of that on the top of that. And guess what time it is? It's time to taste. So I'm gonna cover that up. I'm gonna fold it. On your cup, have a double zip it there dripping. <laughs> have to drip everywhere. Mm. This is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's been the treat with chefs in the hood. And we came, we did our thing with the doubles. We showed you how to do it. Duplicate it. I'm gonna enjoy some tamarind juice. And eat my, the rest of my doubles. I'm not gonna show that part on camera because it's messy. <laughs> <laughs>